Hello there. Good day to you. This is Dante sharing with you from the beautiful Guatemala. In this video today I want to talk about approval and criticism. Criticism is what we have all been trained into in consensus reality. We have learned that in order to get better we have to look at what's wrong. In actuality, when we just come into a pure positive state of appreciation, everything gets better for us. The universe is constantly responding to how we feel above everything else. And in order for each individual to live the life of their dreams, everyone has to make their first priority feeling better. Feeling better about themselves, feeling better about their relationship to the world. This not only helps at an individual level, this helps at a collective level. As each individual comes into real empowerment that's not based in power over anyone else, that's based on the infinite power within you. In that state, we can all come into a higher alignment with higher self, spirit, oneness, whatever you term that. There's really not a perfect term out there because oneness, spirit, whatever, cannot actually be named. Yet in that state of connection, one is in a complete awe and knowing that one is that eternal spirit and that all are that eternal spirit. In order to find that state, we have to learn how to disengage from negative thought loops about ourselves and about others. When we judge ourselves, we tend to also project those judgments out to others. It's a two-way street. If we're judging others, most of the time we're judging the things that we don't like and accept within ourselves. So in order to come into this pure state of total appreciation, we have to be able to give the magic mudra to criticism with love. The magic mudra is <laughs> um, so in saying hey no thanks to those who are critical of us we also must remember that they probably have a point yet the way that that criticism is brought across is negative and not helpful Criticism can be turned into a solution-oriented state of appreciation. You, though you have to first not look at what is wrong. You have to orient yourself to focus on what is right, what is good about this. And in truth, every situation and every interaction has something positive within it. In a law of attraction-based universe, you can't get something that you haven't asked for and haven't aligned with vibrationally. So make your priority approving of yourself, even when you are in a place of lower energy, when you have made a mistake, even when you have done something as stupid as being aggressive towards another individual, rather than beating yourself up about it. Instead, approve of yourself. Look at the reason why you behaved in a certain way and realize that there is a hidden positive intention within that. If you can continuously come to this state of pure appreciation, there will be a continuous array of new energies that come to you through manifestations, through your interactions, that take that pure positive focus to whole new levels. So you first have to put that energy out in order to get it back. It's a very simple law that what you put out comes back to you, always. So I experience what this orientation towards appreciation can do during a three-week retreat called the Yoga of Sound and Chocolate, where we were all learning how to open our channels and use sound and vibration and our voice and our creative energies to heal and hold space for each other and use that to create a new earth. One thing that was part of this 
training was to use sound to reorient yourself into a state of appreciation. The Heart Math Institute is one of some teachings out there that say that all you really have to do is find a way to bring yourself back to a pure state of appreciation. And when you are in that non-resistant state, everything around you will come to be in that frequency with you. The universe is not something fixed and out there. It's a subjective reality that responds to how you, as in a way the center of the universe, creates, emits energy, and focuses consciousness. So in order to come to that state of positive focus, you can look at what's good about the world around you. It can be simple things as just appreciating the beautiful sounds, the beautiful colors, and all of the wonderful things within your life all of the wonderful things about yourself and in that state you will raise your frequency you will be able to see the doubt and negativity as just an option rather than a necessary and vital part of existence the truth is that doubt is only going to hold you back there may be a positive intention within the doubt that is to protect oneself. Though in actuality, when you have very strong self-worth, you emit a frequency that provides immunity. And in that state, you won't attract things of a negative nature. To realize that when somebody is critical towards you, it is not about you, it is about them is key in this process. There's a quote from Yogi Bhajan. If you see everybody's behaviors as having nothing to do with you and everything to do with their relationship with themselves, over a period of time you will cease to react at all. And this is probably not the exact quote from him, but it's the same idea. Um, the way that others treat you is really just how they're treating themselves inside and if somebody comes to you with a negative energy you have to realize that that is their own relationship with themselves coming and looking for a mirror that will play out the script that they're playing within themselves and if you can see that criticism and say okay no thanks you can inside give the magic mudra to it um, but you don't have to be very strongly against that criticism. You can just be like, oh, okay, that is their perspective. From it, their perspective, it's probably true. Though they're only seeing it that way because they're judging themselves. And this is coming to me not as a negative omen. <laughs> it's coming to me as an opportunity to love myself more to approve of myself more, to see my limitations as blessings, as limitations are what give us form. Without any limitations, we wouldn't be able to expand into the proper forms for our life and for our sole purpose. Limitations are actually blessings, and when you can use the limitations that you perceive, not as something negative, but as the way that you can personally expand and grow, then you won't cease to feel limited at all. You will use limitations in instead as rocket fuel for further development. And in that state, you're flying high, you're in the vortex, as the teacher Abraham says. And that is really what everyone in this universe is wanting to just feel better <laughs> and it doesn't have to be complicated remember that everything that happens to you and every way that another person treats you is either love or a call for love so if somebody comes to you with a complaint they're just asking for love and you can give them that love 
without validating the negative idea. You can validate the emotion that they're experiencing and hold them with compassion without seeing the negativity and belief in lack that they're bringing to you as having real grounding. All beliefs are optional and when you see a negative idea, when you see a negative belief, you can look to the opposite of that. First at an emotional level, what would the opposite of that idea feel? If that weren't true, how would you feel? And when you come into that alignment, magic will happen. Magic is natural and it is innate. We are all magical beings and we can change our entire reality simply by changing our focus and our relationship with ourselves. Even if we make mistakes, those are opportunities to learn and grow and to approve and validate the one who made the mistake. So love yourself fully and there will be no more perception of mistakes. There will only be celebration and joy and life will be more and more effortless. This is where we're all going in the future and many of us are already there right now. There are still ups and downs and peaks and valleys through contrast give us more opportunity to grow. So I hope this has helped you and that you can continue to practice this. I challenge you to, for 21 days, whenever something negative arises, rather than look at what's wrong, to look at what you did right, to look at how this is helping you, and to look at why it's good that you did what you did and that you are who you are. And as you do that, life will change. Even the most hated and negative aspects and traits that you have, find approval for them. This is one of the most empowering things that you can do. What is it that you are constantly trying to fix and get rid of about yourself? Are you always late? Are you really messy? Are you really afraid of rejection? Or, I don't know, people have all sorts of different things that they beat themselves up for. If you can find that one trait and look at why that's actually a good thing, why that's actually helpful for you, and find a couple other people to do the same, then it will no longer be a problem. I did this with my tendency to create creative chaos. That's what I call it now. Other people would call it being messy. <laughs> um, and I believed other people's criticism for so long. Since I was a young child, it was reinforced. That criticism that, oh, you're doing something wrong, you're doing something bad, I believed it. And my negative behavior got bigger and bigger. And once I started to see how this could be a good thing, then I dropped that behavior to a large degree. Once I saw that well, inviting creative chaos in allows for more spontaneity, allowing creative chaos in brings other people to their own perceived blocks and limitations and helps them to get past the need to control. My creative chaos allows me to be in a flow state more often than not. These are just a couple examples. I actually did this with a group who helped me find ways to look at that thing that I really didn't like and couldn't approve of. Approve of every single thing that you perceive as negative and you will feel so much closer to the true divinity that you are. Look for those things that you can approve of and find the top one and then invite two or three friends who can tune in with this idea to help you see why that thing that you have said is so bad and unlovable is actually helping you. Look at those ideas and read them over a couple times a day. 
and as you find approval for what you hate, what you hate will no longer limit you. You will find love for even what you have perceived as dark and wrong. And all of that energy will return to a state of oneness and integration. In that state of oneness and integration, you know yourself to be your source, one with your source, and infinite energy will flow through you. I hope you have enjoyed this transmission, and if you have, feel free to check out the other videos I've posted and my website blissbeings.com for the different workshops, sessions, and offerings that I share. Have a bright and blessed day and enjoy it as the very best day ever because now is always the greatest moment. <laughs>